One of our missions is to wake up, just simply to wake up, to look to the reality in the eyes. And I'm saying, you know, it didn't start on October 7th. 30 years ago, when the Oslo Accords were signed, I think, and, 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 and uh, Ambassador Adar, you, you will correct me if I'm telling the story wrong, but I think Chairman Arafat went to South Africa, I think the week, the week after he signed this contract, this, uh, in 94, and he was criticized, how could you sign the deal with the Jews? How could you do that? And he told them, remember Hudaybiya which basically means, you, I think, I'm sure you know the story, is the, the treaty that, that uh, Muhammad uh, signed with the Quraysh tribe, basically a, a peace treaty, which the meaning of it was, I will just come and slaughter you the day after. Nothing has changed. And October 7th, show us the reality. It, even for those who were skeptical, even though, I, mean, no, I know, I've, I've been just, this week I've been to Kfar Aza. I saw the burned houses. So many of them had flags with Shalom Achshav. Those are the people who believed in peace the most, advocating for peace the most, and were slaughtered by those, the same people they took to hospitals in Israel. They were slaughtered by them the day after. So we just need to wake up not to be afraid to look at the reality and not keep doing dumb stuff like we are still doing, unfortunately.